This presentation is going to cover the topic of what programmatic out-of-home advertising really is and what it looks like to plan and execute. I am Jonathan Gadai, CEO of Adomni, a programmatic advertising platform. I am also on the board of directors for the DPAA, on the innovations committee for the OAAA, and I'm a proud supporter of Geopath. When it comes to presentations, I always like to set the context of who is the presentation really for? And this particular one is geared toward media buyers, whether you're an agency or brand, interested in learning more about programmatic as a buying tactic to drive business outcomes, media sellers who are looking to increase revenue and fill rates, and really anybody who finds the topic of programmatic advertising interesting. There'll be five key topics covered today in the presentation. One is the definition of programmatic out of home and the most common terminology, a walkthrough of the digital out of home programmatic ecosystem, why programmatic out of home is important to the future of the industry, looking at a few different types of programmatic campaigns, and we'll finish off with a demo of an actual programmatic out of home campaign being built and executed from start to finish. Starting first with what is the definition of programmatic? I know that we've heard that term all around and basically in our book, programmatic advertising is when you, you automatically buy and sell digital out of home ad plays in real time through an automated system. And in particular, brands or agencies are purchasing impressions on a CPM basis and doing so within minutes through, the, through a connected ecosystem. Programmatic digital out of home differs from online programmatic in one very important way. One ad play rarely equals one impression. You take this digital billboard, for example, 29 different people have a likelihood to see that ad. And so what's been created in the programmatic digital out of home world is a concept called the impressions multiplier. So one ad play might equal 29 impressions. When you think of programmatic, there's really two main concepts, pure programmatic and program manual. And just to walk you through what the differences are between them, in a pure programmatic world, the whole system is fully connected. What that means is that the buying platform is connected to the selling platform, who's connected to the content management system that's, a, that's then connected to the ad server software on the actual digital devices. And so one way you can think about it is that the pure programmatic system is like a touchless car wash. You purchase it automatically, you drive your car through, and there's not a single person involved in actually cleaning your car. The program manual is similar in that the buying platform has some connections to the selling platform, but it doesn't go end to end from buying platform all the way to the content management system. In some cases, the seller, whether it's a media owner, would have to turn on their ad server and contact management system to connect. In other cases, they don't even have the capability of connecting their CMS and ad server to the buying platform. And so it's manually sent the schedules and the creative. But the process to query the system, find out availability, that's what's programmatic. The process to actually deliver the ads to the screens is manual. And you can look at this as a semi-automatic uh, car wash system where you might drive through and have some of your car cleaned uh, with uh, automated soap and, and washers, uh, but then you'll have people doing the, the second half of the job. And the third is just comparing both of those to just traditional out of home, where today you have to locate a, a billboard or screen network, figure it out, figure out who owns it, call or email sales reps, get pricing and availability, negotiate, send over contracts, follow up with questions, have invoices and pay manually, email over the content and schedules, and then request play reports. So the, the traditional way is the high touch car wash, where there's a lot of people involved, a lot of manual processes. And for some campaigns, this works great. You know, you, you want to ensure that you have uh, that relationship and that high touch aspect. But in other campaigns, the either semi-manual or the fully automatic is, uh, is the way to go. To give it an example of what the programmatic flow actually looks like, I'm gonna provide an example. And by the way, Target is not an Adomni customer, so I'm just using their brand as a way to just contextualize this. If Target wanted to do a digital billboard campaign, and let's say reach one or more Lamar digital billboards, there's three tracks that they can take with programmatic. Track one is to use the Adomni demand side platform directly. 
to go into our system and purchase ads that get placed directly through the screens. The second is if Target uses an agency who then uses the Adomni demand side platform to purchase ads. And the third programmatic track is if they use an agency or themselves to go through an omni-channel demand side platform like Zeta Global. So in that case, Target's mobile, their desktop, their connected TV, and their out of home might be purchased in the same place. To show you what this actually looks like, step one, we take a brand or advertiser such as Target, and they would purchase through a demand side platform such as Adomni's. Adomni's demand side platform then connects to a supply side platform such as Broadsign Reach. This doesn't happen in all transactions, but in many cases that is what that is what takes place. And then from the supply side platform, it's being fed into the publisher slash media owners CNS and ad server. And in this case is an ad network of roadside digital billboards. And ultimately uh, consumers are reached on these digital screens in a flow that looks like this. The second track is very similar, except for instead of going directly through the Adomni DSP, the brand or advertiser has their ad agency do the, the strategy, do the planning and the execution uh, through the whole rest of the ecosystem. So it's just one other layer of buying power that's being done through a, a trusted partner. And then the third track is either the brand advertiser or agency purchasing through a digital demand side platform such as Zeta Global. And Zeta would be connecting to the Adomni ad exchange, which then connects through the whole rest of the ecosystem all the way to the screens. So you might look at this and say, wow, there's a lot of different moving parts, but the reality is that all of these plumbing, all these connecting systems are fully connected. So it enables that brand or that agency to be able to transact literally within minutes, depending upon the different uh, use case that they have. One of the biggest things with programmatic advertising is the idea of audiences and being able to target specific demographics, behavioral interests. And for Adomni, as an example, we partnered with Place IQ. And the way it works is that every single device, like this digital billboard, has an exposure area. And as vehicles or pedestrians pass through that exposure area, those a portion of the devices are observed by a third party audience provider like Place IQ. And then those audiences can then be targeted through a demand side platform like Adomni's. Here's how it works. Place IQ's database contains over 200 million unique monthly devices. Every day, billions of location signals are anonymously captured from mobile apps for which consumers have opted in. These location signals then get mapped to specific points of interest, such as an automotive dealership, bar, restaurant, retail outlet, or roadside area. Each of Adomni's advertising displays has a custom exposure area created for it to determine the audience profile for that one location. On the Adomni online buying platform, the campaign planning and buying tool features a concept called Audience IQ. Audience IQ helps advertisers determine which location best matches their intended audience. The most relevant, highest scoring locations are included in your campaign. Here's a real world example. Let's say you're a brand that wants to advertise a new healthy snack food for young women. You go to Adomni.com, choose the audience segments of female, 18 to 24, gym goers in Las Vegas. In seconds, the Adomni search engine will comb through tens of thousands of out-of-home advertising locations and millions of mobile data points to guide you to the best options for that audience. Adomni's performance algorithm will optimally select locations with the highest score for your audience criteria. All done in just minutes. The outcome? Smarter advertising campaigns. Better results. So now switching gears to why programmatic matters. On the screen here, we have a, a map of the US and we estimate that somewhere between two and a half and three billion dollars per year were spent uh, on digital out of home last year. And that number is interesting only in so much as you put it relative to the peers. So if you look at Amazon, where last year they did $14 billion of, out of, of, of digital advertising, 
Compare that to Facebook that did over $30 billion and Google that did over $40 billion. The reason that programmatic matters is that it's a growth opportunity for the overall industry. There's no reason that Digital Out of Home should be a pepperoni on Google's revenue pie. And if you think about why there's such a stark difference between these three other digital online platforms and Digital Out of Home, really the answer comes down to this. We live in a connected world and millennials and Gen Zers who are buying media have different expectations, different wants, and ultimately Digital Out of Home has not been able to compete with Amazon, Google, and Facebook up until now. And if you think about what matters to these digital buyers and millennials, you've got a checklist. Functionality, ad targeting options, the ad formats, your flexibility in the campaign details, your ability to pull up analytics. Google and Facebook check the boxes off on all of these in a really powerful way. When you go back to the 10-step process for traditional buying, or if you go to try to think about audience-based buying, out of home really hasn't been able to satisfy these needs. Not the way that Google and Facebook have. And that's where programmatic out of home steps in and is able to actually show these media buyers that it, it has an impact, that there are attribution uh, reports, that there, there is the ability to target based on audience. And ultimately, this is where the growth is gonna come from. If you break down programmatic out of home, we've looked at thousands of different campaigns and found that there's really four different flavors. The first one, and we'll use just examples of some brands, uh, is market focused. So if you're a brand that wants to be in specific geo targets, whether it's state, DMA, CBSA, zip code, then you start with that as your primary anchoring strategy for the media plan. Or you might be like Target, where you wanna be within a five mile proximity of a, of a retail store, and you might have some audience or some specific uh, media type preferences. We call that uh, you know, the POI strategy, which is B. Or you're audience focused, where you don't really even care necessarily which markets, you don't, you don't care if they're in a proximity to a certain retailer. If you're a direct to consumer brand, like BarkBox, you're trying to reach uh, pet owners. And so for that, it, it would isolate to just the screens that over index for uh, pet owner uh, audiences. And the last is let's say you're a football team like the LA Chargers and you've got a piece of content, a 1920 by 1080 piece, or maybe it's a 1440 by 400, where you say, I wanna place this ad in as many places as I can in these markets. These are how we've broken down all of the programmatic campaigns. Um, and let's actually go down deep and look at just one of these to see what it looks like to actually plan it, execute it, and upload content all within minutes. Let's say I'm Target and I'm opening stores all over the country. You could go to adomni.com, register a free account, and instantly have access to 136,000 screens. Most advertisers start with geo-targeting, whether it's state, city, DMA, CBSA, whatever. But for Target, we only care about 10 mile radiuses around each store. You can upload your store lists, your lat long list, any POI list, and now the 136,000 screens becomes 13,000 screens. And the beauty of this platform is that it's not just impressions and numbers, but just like Facebook, you can actually drill down and see the billboards, the bar restaurant screens, the shopping mall screens, all the different media types the CPMs, the impressionable impressions that are available to you, all fully transparent. But one of the beautiful things about out of home is the visual aspect. You can fly in on a map and see every screen, every network that's included in your campaign's targeted list. Click on each of the individual dots, see the CPMs, and for this Lamar billboard, we can actually fly in and look at the street view and understand what is surrounding that billboard and ensure that you want to be advertising there. full transparency, instantly accessible. But this is even the best part. Where we're seeing the craziest results is in the audience targeting. If I'm Target and I wanna reach, say, women who shop at Target, as well as the primary competitors to Target, just like Facebook, you can come in here and choose those audience segments 
and our algorithms are gonna match you up based on real-time recent mobile location data to the best screens. And now instead of 13,000 screens, there's 2,700 that over-index for the audience you're trying to reach. I mean, it's that easy, guys. A geo and audience-optimized campaign built, planned, and shareable within minutes. And what about reports? Real-time KPIs that you can see what you've spent, your CPMs, your impressions, your content that's been delivered. You can see your audience reached. Basically, the Facebook and Google level instantaneous access is now available for out of home. I hope you found this presentation both informative and useful. There are a lot of different nuances to programmatic digital out of home. And it's Adomni's and my personal goal to try to simplify this as much as possible. If you have any questions or want to delve in a little bit deeper on anything that was shown in the presentation, feel free to reach out. You can find me on LinkedIn at Jonathan Gadai. And I'm wishing you and, and your family and friends nothing but health and uh, best wishes from Las Vegas.